Hello, YouTube friends. Uh, the moment of truth has arrived, and I got this apparatus kind of together here. Let me show you what I got here. I put a wooden dowel, and I had to get two of them because one wasn't long enough for my workbench. And these are 5 8 inch uh, diameter um, dowels and they're connected together with this sleeve and I was able to kind of cram them together in there and this these are like big washers and these are carriage pins so I could take this apart real easy and what I got here is a, a spool here I'm going to use to derail the uh, the spool for the for the shadow meter and I have the magnet here and I have it all aligned on the magnetic sensor and there is uh, the counter and I got my drill all tightened in it's good so it's not going to move and th this is loose enough so it, it will turn and you know when I wind the coil I'm going to tighten this up so that when I wind it then I could put a fresh spool of number 40 wire on here and wind it and count the turns that go on. But now I gotta count the turns that go off. See, put that on zero. Now what I got here on the other side is, is, uh, there's the dowel, excuse me, and here's um, the crank that I made. I know, I know it's pretty crude. I cut this out with a jigsaw, put a handle on there. So what I'm gonna do is crank it and then it's going to turn the spool that I have a, I have a stop here with the, with the screw here. And I'm going to de-wind de this, this wire here. So I'm going to try to do this here in real time. So uh, wish me luck. This is kind of like a, uh, a rocket ship taking off or something. So how am I going to do this? I'm going to... I'm going to have to move the camera. Move this camera over a little bit. Got to get it out of the way. And what I'm going to do is, here's the number 40 wire. going to be a couple turns actually like taking it off so let's see it's one turn two turns okay it's two turns just just coming off that high I'm going to tape that on with some electrical tape Now this doesn't have to be super neat because this wire is trash and it, it's it's open inside of here you know and, and Rick, Rick you were right Rick because I tried oming this out and it's probably broken way deep inside so when I despool it it might actually uh, break because it's broken inside somewhere okay so what I'm going to do is turn the crank and it's going to despool it here. Uh -huh. Aha! One turn. I have three turns now. So, okay, it's going to work. And here's four. It's five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, it's ten turns and ten turns on the counter. So we're cooking with gas here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna unhook the camera here. There you go. It's uh 
10 turns. Ha ha. And I got good old American bricks that hold hold this board against the backstop, which is a box, and I got the radio chassis in the box. So, okay, here we go. Going to move the going to move the um, the stand there for the camera. Start turning this here crank. Crank baby, crank. I know it looks like a lot of work. There's a Mr. Counter going around. Counting. 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 I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. There you go. Let's see. Okay. At 30 turns. And we're at. Okay. There you go. Now, what I'm going to have to do, if I got to do another coil, I'm not going to be doing this. I'm going to um, get a motor on here or something, you know? And I kind of made this this crank it's a little too much of a, of a throw here. I needed like a little smaller one. So here it goes. That's cranking. Well, the beauty of this, I don't have to count it. No have to count, senor. No have to count. So I'm despooling. And it's piling up on here. It doesn't have to be neat because this wire is kind of shot. And uh, see, I got the See, this controls the end play. So I got one there. I got another carriage pin here. And, and that this holds it really tight. You know, because the, the wood, you know, I had to cram it in. So it, it's not going to go anywhere. And I made this a little longer. See, there's the dowel. I made it longer so I could put, like, spools of wire on here. See, when I'm not using this, I could rack up spools of wire on this extra dowel length here. Okay, back to business. How many turns? Ah, see, 76. See, I don't even have to think on this. I could just turn the crank. That magnetic sensor is going to be hitting there. And I don't even have to think. And all this stuff, you know, the, the pins and the little washers and the dowels, it was like about 10 bucks. I had screws and I had some extra whittling around the house. That's the other end of the dowel I cut, so I just made a handle out of that. So now we're just going to keep cranking it here. We're going to despool this old wire, and someplace the wire is going to break somewhere because it's this open circuit and it's probably open at the at the bottom of it. Well this is sure a heck easier trying to you know trying to um, count the turns coming off. That would be like by hand that would be terrible. You know who knows how many are on there. See? 109. So maybe there's like a thousand turns. See I'm like about ten tenth of the way already done. So that's what I'm doing. So anyway, that's it, folks. Have a great day. Bye.